Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Deep Dark Astro, where I try to do quick ASR Pro and Plus tutorials to help people understand how to use it better and to get better imaging with astrophotography. Tonight, we're going to do a quick look on the Sky Atlas, uh, a new feature that was introduced recently in some of the latest firmware uh, versions of the ASI Air Pro and Plus. So right now, you're, I'm running ASI Air in BlueStacks, which is an Android emulator on my PC. Um, it, this is not uh, officially supported by ZWO, so there might be a few quirks here and there, but it works uh, pretty well that I'm able to use it for my imaging. So right now, you can see in the center, I have the Mirac Star that I was just using to do my autofocus routine with the EAF on my telescope. I'm using an FLT91 by One Optics and a ASI 2600MC Pro camera. So let's look at the Sky Atlas. So click on the bottom left here and it opens up Sky Atlas and what do we see? So we see Mirac in the middle of the screen which is what I'm pointing to right now. So you can see right away that we have two boxes here, a blue one and a red one. The blue one is called scope, and this is showing you exactly where your scope is pointing to. And the blue box outlines the field of view that your sensor is seeing and can capture if you start doing imaging. The red box is the target box that's used within Skyless when you want to uh, go looking around and seeing what's what else is possible to image and you want to uh, slew your scope to a different object you use the target box so as i'm moving around here within sky Atlas, i can click on a star i can click on this little galaxy which is ngc 3359 so what can we do here? So right now I've selected the object and if you can see a new icon in the bottom right appeared. So if I deselect the galaxy, it goes away. So when I'm moving around the target, all the icons on the bottom right disappear. When I stop moving it, they reappear. And if I select an object, a fourth option appears, which is go object. So let's go from left to right. We're going to ignore a line tonight because it's not really required for any of the imaging that I do. And I'll probably do a, another video talking about a line. But for tonight, I want to do a quick one before I start imaging. And let's just focus on the ones that we actually use within Skyatlas mostly. So what does center do? Center is, okay, I have NGC 335 selected, and I start looking around at the scat list for other objects, and I decide, no, you know, I like that one I was on. You know, I don't want to do this one here, so I will hit center, and what it does, it just centers the object that I have selected back in my target box. That's it. It doesn't move my scope. My scope is still pointing to the Mirac star that I use for autofocus. Nothing has changed in physically with my scope and nothing has done a go-to yet. Now, if I want my scope to slew to NGC 3359, I would have to hit Go Object. And if I hit this, you'll see that the blue box, which displays exactly what my scope is seeing, will come slowing into here and will overlap the red target box and then I will be exactly have NGC 3359 in the middle of my field of view. So let's do that. Go object. It says on the bottom left, mount slew to target position. And our blue box just appeared and is overlapping the red box perfectly. The red stop will go away once plate solving has confirmed that the object is centered, which usually takes 10, 15, 20 seconds. And there we go, it's gone. So now my scope is now pointing to this target now. It has left Mirac and it's now pointing to NGC 3359. So if I started imaging right now, I would have this galaxy right in the middle of my frame. But as you know, sometimes we don't want the target object right in the middle of our frame. 
we might want to do some kind of custom framing. Maybe we want to capture another galaxy and we want to move, you know, NGC 3259 to the corner. Or I want to get this star here, Dubai, in the top left, and I want to have NGC on the bottom right. If you want to do this kind of framing where you don't go and center the object in the middle of your sensor, then you do the go cross. Go cross tells your scope to go to exactly where this red cross is in the middle of the target field of view window in the sense of custom framing. So if I click go cross, now my scope will slew to this RA and deck value, and it just did. And now it's going to do the confirmation check that it's actually where I told it to go to. And once it's done, then I'll have NGC359 on the bottom right and Dube in the top left. And if I imaged it, this is exactly what my imaging would show. So that's basically it in a nutshell. It's not much. So center just centers the object you had selected in your target window. It doesn't move anything around, doesn't change the go-to. Go to object will go to the selected object you chose and will center that in your frame. And go cross will go to and slew to the red cross wherever that is within Sky Atlas. Now on the bottom left here, you can see other icons here. These are just to turn on and off landscape, uh, turn on and off the coordinate lines. The compass one is to make your device, either tablet or phone, move around and move the sky in Sky Atlas in real time as you point your, your device to the sky. And then the magnifying glass is simply uh, to access the object database within ZW uh, ASA or Cluster Pro. And here, if I select something, let's say like the California Nebula or SH2220, I have two options within Skylas. I can either do a go-to, which will tell my mount to slew to the California Nebula, or I can just center it within Sky Atlas. So again, if you recall, center will not move my scope. My scope will still be on the NGC Galaxy we were on two seconds ago, but it will now display the California Nebula within Sky Atlas and the target box there. Now here's a great example of my framing not being optimal. Because of the rotation of my sensor, on my 2600MC Pro, it's not, when it, when the go-to goes to this the middle of this object, it's not capturing the whole thing. So I have two options here. I could go outside and I could rotate my camera to rotate the red box clockwise slightly and capture the nebula. Or I could just reframe it like this, possibly, if I didn't want to go outside. And then I would just hit go across, and now I would have a custom framing of the California Nebula or NGC 1499. So that's it. Go across, just go to the right cross. Go object, just does a go to, to the object you selected. And center, simply centers the object you had just uh, selected in Sky Atlas, but does not do a go to. All right, I hopefully that answers some of the people's questions. Please ask your questions or comments in the comment section, and I will do my best to answer them. And please subscribe to get future videos and the Align video that I plan on doing in Skyless very soon. Thank you, and clear skies.